Hi, and welcome back here on the Senior Network. We are now joined by Neil Honeycutt, Director of Community Relations right at home. It's good to see you again, Greg. Great to see you, Neil. Well, I know you've been really busy this time of year because uh, I see you running around the streets all the time. Uh, tell me a little bit about why is that? Do you find out that, that people need or more care around the holidays? Well, we, we there's a lot of reasons that, uh, you know, during the holidays, people need more care. A lot of times it's because families uh, come down yeah. and visit, too, and, and mom after and dad. After Thanksgiving. Yep, and, yep. After Thanksgiving, right before Christmas, maybe. Uh, you know, traveling's a little bit less right now uh, during COVID-19, but, yeah. uh, but they're still doing it, you know, and yeah. they're still coming and visiting. And a lot of families recognize that mom and dad aren't doing as well as mom yeah. and dad had said they were doing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, during this time of year, too, uh, during the winter months, and I know we live in the great state of South Carolina where it's warmer on the coast and right. on the coast it's warmer but but people can't forget that we do get a little bit chilly here yeah. too you know especially and we're rolling into that that's, season that, yeah. that's right especially at nighttime um, and you know it, it doesn't have to be 22 degrees outside uh, for people to, to have risks of hypothermia and that sort of thing okay. so as we right. age um, we're more susceptible to those types of things um, there's a there's a story I, w I was reading not long ago about this gentleman who he was trying to save money during the the winter months and he turned his uh, you know heat down to like 62 and which sounds like it's not too bad mm -hmm. uh, his son came to visit him um, had some symptoms of hypothermia went to the hospital and uh, that's exactly what he had well you would never guess that it's 62 degrees that's right so. you would think so what but as you age it does matter it makes that's a difference right. right you lose you lose uh, muscle mass yeah um, fat yeah. and and a lot of us sit, sit around and think I don't want Want fat on my body well you have to have a little bit of fat the keep layers warm, of fat right? help keep you warm it does <laughs> yeah. it does so we, we really do need and that's proper nutrition yeah a lot of and that leads me to to a lot of our families uh you know they worry about their their mom and dad because they're not eating properly right um and they also need to eat properly because of the medications they take uh, require sometimes with food and um and and then so some tips for people in in situations like this is you know keep your keep your um internal temperature of your home between 65 and 70. You know, you're still you're still going to save on your on your electric bill yeah. at that level. You know, you can you can shut off rooms that you're not using. Yeah, shut the vents off. Good point. Um, lots of things you can do. Yeah. Well, and I know you go out and meet with a lot of families and I know you give that kind of advice. Mm -hmm. So for our viewers that may not know, because they see you on the show on a regular basis and they know what a yeah. wonderful personality you have and how knowledgeable you are. Um, if they wanted to meet with you just to ask questions, talk, mm -hmm. Could they just call and ask to set up a time with you? Absolutely. Uh, a lot of times uh, families, or a lot of the referral sources that we work with, right. um, actually, they know they can give my my cell phone directly. Personal sale, yeah. Personal sale. They'll call right. me directly. They can also call the office, yeah. um, our, our direct number at the office, and um, they can ask for me or okay. they can ask for any one of our, our we have some nurses that nurses actually staff. go out. We do free in-home consultations, and we want families to understand that um, you know there's a lot of there's a lot of unknowns about home care. Um, there's a lot of people who they're very independent. Mm -hmm. um, they're they're they don't they don't want to ask for help. Yeah. That first step sometimes is just meeting someone who comes in and is just real with them, just sits down like we're doing right yeah. here, like on, on a couch, you yeah. know, and, and and says, you know, here's some information about what we do. There, it, it's non-threatening. Uh, yeah. It's a very comfortable environment in their home, and then um, and, and then they get get to know us a little bit. It's about building a relationship. Yeah, exactly. And trust. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Um, and as far as when you do this, I know that if they have questions with like insurance policies, mm -hmm. how do I pay for this? You go through all of that, correct? We do. We go through all of it. A lot of people assume that, um, you know, home care, you know, may be covered by, you know, Medicare or, right. or, or maybe some private insurances. Um, we're not there yet. We're getting close with some Medicare. of the private insurances yeah. and Medicare, yeah. but um, I can give them information about a lot of other ways to pay for this service, um, long-term care insurance. Yeah. We go through that. We'll sit down and even look at their policy if they have one, uh, find out uh, what steps they need to take to start a claims process. Um, but absolutely, we even talk about potential of veterans. Uh, yeah. The veterans. That we, I know uh, we do a lot of the VA, right? That's right. right, right yeah. And and if they have uh, challenges and they need help getting that veteran paperwork taken care of, we can guide them in some simplistic ways. And if they need to get more detailed, we know resources in the community that can help them. Yeah. And, and maybe that people don't 
are, you know, a lot of folks relocate here. We've talked about this a lot. Absolutely. Um, and, and they may not be able to get into the community that they want to right away because of maybe different things going on, mm-hmm. availability, whatever. Um, I know you spend a lot of time helping those folks maybe providing in-home care while they're waiting, correct? Yeah, that's right. Sometimes, and it can range. It can be, you know, they just need a few hours a day until right. they can get in. And sometimes they're like, Neil, my family really needs someone there all the time. Around the and clock. Around yeah. the clock. And that can be for a, a few days, a week, a month, six months. It really doesn't matter. We can develop that plan of care and right. customize it to that family. And I know uh, just this past week, I know a lot, a lot of the folks, the a couple of your clients that mm-hmm. were using minimal hours all of a sudden had to move up to around the clock care. Yeah, that's right. And that's something that you you and a nurse would go back in and revisit everything and start right away, yeah. correct? That's right, because what we do a lot of ongoing case management. Yeah. Um, and that's a little bit different than, than uh, every home care company does correct. not do that. They correct. don't have the depth to do that. As you know, with me being a social worker, we have nurses on, uh, on our team as well. We go in and we look at it from a, a very detailed standpoint. Clinical standpoint. Clinical and standpoint. Social. And- yep, and, and then relay it back to the families, most importantly, who most of them, as, as most people know, live out of state. Right, exactly. Helps make decisions, helps make those decisions for the family. Neil, always great information. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Good to see you. Merry Christmas. You too. Merry Christmas. Stay with us. More to come here on the Senior Network.